Welcome everyone. Today we're going to be talking about active reading and using a particular strategy called questioning. Asking questions while you read the text. And this is a strategy that active readers use. And you think about why, the why behind wanting to become an active reader. Really, it's all about interacting with the text, enjoying reading even more, and truly understanding what is happening in the story. So let's get started with this idea of asking questions while you read. How do you do it? What kinds of questions do you ask? And let me give you a few examples of how you would ask questions while you're reading the story. You can ask questions before you read, you can ask questions while reading the book, and then you can ask questions after the story is finished or after the paragraph. It's a good idea to create some stopping points, right? So that you stop after every paragraph and ask a question, or you stop after every heading and ask a question. Well, the first tip that I have for you is ask a lot of questions. Ask questions using the W's, right? Who, what, where, when, why, and how. That's just to get these questions rolling, right? One thing to keep in mind is don't ask these kinds of questions that you already know the answer to, right? If you already know the answer to the question, then ask a question that's going to really push your brain to doing a kind of workout, to thinking more and more deeply about what's happening in the story. If we take the textual evidence and combine that with our background knowledge, then we can generate questions. These kinds of questions combine what we see from the text, the actual vocabulary, the, the characters' names, some events that we see happening in the story with our own background information. That's called the scheme, our schema, right? This is what we as individuals bring to the story. Everyone is going to be kind of bringing their own story to the book or the text that they're reading. So that's why there's no wrong questions that you're going to be asking here. The important thing is to connect yourself and your background with the story. This, these are called text to self connections and they're very important and good re readers make these kinds of connections and bring their own selves into the book, right? But you can't just ask random questions based on your own personal experience. You actually have to use the evidence from the text as well. You need to use the vocabulary from the text. You need to use the, 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 the events that are happening before you as well to ask these questions, okay? So you have this kind of interaction between the self, the actual story at hand, the book, the textual evidence, right? And that will really draw you into the story and make you more interested and more engaged. And this is just one of the components of becoming an active reader, paying close attention to what the actual words say on the page, but also how you're feeling and what you bring to this and how you connect to this and relate to this. And you may want to try using Bloom's taxonomy to give you some additional ideas of questions that are higher order or critical thinking questions that you may not have thought about before. How could you analyze this? How could you compare and contrast this text to other books you've read? Or how could you relate this and uh, maybe give your own opinion about it as well? Here are the six different levels in Bloom's taxonomy. And these levels will help us ask questions as we read. And as we go up to the higher levels, we're asking higher order thinking questions and more critical thinking questions. The first level would be a 
question that helps you remember what happened in the text or recall information. So, what is? What happened after? The second level is to see and check if you understood what happened in the story. So, what is the main idea? What did so and so do? The third level is to apply the information. Examples of questions could be: What choices does so and so face? Can you illustrate the theme of poverty? Level four: Analyze. What was the turning point? Why did those particular changes occur? Level five type of questions would be: Do you think blank is a good or bad thing? You're really evaluating. Do you believe? What is your opinion about this? What are the consequences? And level six questions would be: What would happen if? Can you see a possible solution to? So it's asking you to go beyond and hypothesize as well. So what I'm really trying to say here is, when you read, create some key stopping points in the text, and when you stop, ask questions. Ask a lot of questions, and most of all, ask questions that you don't know the answers to. Then. You could try to go back and actually answer your own questions. Remember that you want to work out your brain. You want to really push your brain to think about the book in new ways and connect to the story.